In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a button on your dashboard so you can jump around from one dashboard to another. I'm going to get started right now. All right, here we are in Tableau, and I'm just going to use the Superstore data set um, because we're not really going to be demonstrating data. We're really going to be demonstrating like functionality and uh, dashboard behavior. And I'm going to create a sheet. I'm going to delete all of this because... Typically I don't, but we're going to do it in this one because we're going to be navigating between sheets and dashboards and that, and I don't want to create any confusion. So let's say I have a kind of starting dashboard. So let's call this start and oh, actually let's call this start sheet, right? And I'm going to create a few dashboards. Maybe I'll do th three dashboards we'll do. So let's call this our main. Um, let's call this dash one dash to, and the idea is we're going to build a really simple visualization in dashboard uh, in the main. I'm going to create two buttons, one to go to dashboard one and another one to go to dashboard two. And then we're going to create another set of buttons to go from dashboard one and two back to main. All right. So it's very simple. There's actually, if you're looking down here, there's actually a button right there that can help you. Um, so let's go ahead and do it. I'm going to build something super simple. It actually doesn't really matter what you build. This is really just to show that each one is different, all right? Because I can't help myself. I always like to have color. All right, so that's gonna go into sheet main, all right? And then I'm gonna hide this straight away. Let's create another visualization. And this time I'm gonna do like a, uh, let's do segment, category, subcategory. Uh, let's swap that around actually. Let's do that. I'm gonna add discount here and let's do like a heat map. All right, something like that. So that's number two. So let's put that into, well, sheet two, let's put that into dashboard one and let's hide it. And let's create one more visualization really quickly. Uh, I'm going to go, let's say country. I know there's a country here. Let's say I'm gonna do by state and I wanna know sales and let's make this a packed bubble. Okay, and let's color it by region. All right, very simple. Let's put this here and hide this. All right, so basically what I've done is I've just got three sets of visualizations. Now, starting here with main, which I'm just gonna color red, we're gonna create a, uh, two navigation buttons. So what you can do is you can add an image for the button itself. So the easiest thing you can do is you can just go to Google and type in um, button icon, right? Now, when I did this before, I ended up with all the sewing buttons and I was like, yeah, nah, that's not what I'm looking for, right? So you can just pick something from here. Uh, let's, oh, this one looks nice. I didn't see this before. Okay. So I'm just going to go in here. I'm going to go save image as, right? And let's call this button test, save. Okay. Let's just open that and make sure it's all good. So you can see there's the button. You can use any button you want. You can even use a picture of yourself like doing this or something. All right, so what we do is here in the navigation, we're gonna drag this. So I'm gonna click it and drag it. Now you can see it makes it into a tile, but sometimes you kind of want it to be free. So what you can do is once you drop it in, just click on this and go floating, all right? And that means you can put it anywhere. So let's say I want the two buttons to be kind of here at the bottom, but I don't want it overlapping the scatter. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll put a blank here, right? like that. And I'll just put one there and then another one. And a little trick, if you don't want to go through the tiling, just hold shift on your keyboard and it automatically makes it a, um, a floating, right? And you just let it go. And there we go. So that's the navigation. So let's edit this. I'm going to go right click edit button. I want to navigate to dash one. Let's call the, uh, it's a um, image button, right? Because we want to add that button image. Let's add this one. And for the second one, I won't, right? You can do some styling, you know, make it um, have a border, background. We're not going to worry too much about that. Um, tooltip, uh, optional tooltip. Nah, not really interested. So we just go, okay. Okay. So we have that and we'll do this one, same thing, but this time to dash two, right? Uh, we'll leave this one as a text button so you can kind of see what it looks like. All right. So navigation, how do I change that writing? No, that's. That's if you hover. So navigate to, ah, here it is. That's what I was, I don't know why I couldn't see it. So let's go dashboard two, 
right? So you can see the label. So up to you what you want to change. Maybe we'll make this white with a red border or something. All right. Oh, that's not a good idea. Uh, let's make that black. Okay, so you can still see it. Right, so you can do all sorts of styling, all sorts of, sorts of images. So when I click this, you can see that nothing really happens. That's because you need to look at it in presentation mode. So you can press, I believe, this button right here. All right, you can see a little presentation. Or you can press F7 on your keyboard. Or you can press Windows presentation mode. So up to you, whichever one you want. And I think there's even a button down here you can press. So let's go ahead and press that. So what happens is when your audience or whoever's looking at this is going, okay, cool, that's interesting. Maybe you want to add some text, which I'll show you later. Maybe they want to click on this and you can see it takes them to dashboard one. But the problem is there's no way to go back. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to add another set of buttons to dashboard one and dashboard two to take us back to main. So you can probably guess it's pretty much the same method. I'm going to again copy this over, right? like so. Uh, we'll make it floating. You probably got the idea at this point. Uh, it's relatively straightforward from here on in. So let's just do it kind of quickly. Let's go back to main. Right. We'll make it an image button again. We'll use that button we had. Okay. And go OK. And then we do the exact same thing for dashboard 2. So I'm going to hold shift, grab that navigation button. All right. I can double click instead of going and right clicking and all that stuff. We can go back to main, we can make it an image button again, pick this one, da 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 da, the rest is okay. All right, so now let's go back into presentation mode. This time we'll go this way. Okay, so if I go, oh, that's interesting, you know, let's check out this one for more information. Oh, cool, I got what I need, let's go back. So you can press it again and go backwards. And that is basically how it works. Very simple. If you like this video and you learned something, be sure to hit that like button. Got any issues or you're struggling with something or you can't get it working or who knows what's going on, drop a comment below and I'll make heaps of videos on your request. And until then, enjoy and have a good time and bye.